In Washington, Democratic leaders are under pressure to hold a vote this summer on a bill designed to curb the power of big tech giants. Those against the legislation are spending millions on television ads. KXAN's Daniel Marine breaks down the debate. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren, they're all attacking America's tech innovators. They're the ads you've probably seen more than a few times. I'm speaking out against the left's attacks on America's tech innovators. And more than a few times, you might have asked yourself, what was that about? Tell Senator John Cornyn to reject the left's bill. The clips are aimed at taking down U.S. Senate Bill 2992, also known as the American Innovation and Choice Online Act. The legislation is an antitrust effort targeting a handful of big tech companies like Google, Amazon, and Apple. Part of the legislation would prohibit those companies from discriminating against competitors that rely on their services. For example, Amazon wouldn't be able to prioritize its own products in search results. The bill was introduced late last year by a bipartisan group of senators led by Minnesota Democrat Amy Klobuchar and Iowa Republican Chuck Grassley. We are local. We um, actually have a factory here. Where the legislation has the backing of Amy Perez, founder and CEO of Austin-based Pretty Frank, which sells natural deodorant products on Amazon. Just really important that smaller brands like ours have a level playing field. But another component of the legislation tells big tech companies they have to let any company use their sites and they can't deny competing businesses access to their platforms, no matter who they are or where they're from. And make it easier for Chinese hackers to steal our online data. That's where these ads come in, paid for by the Taxpayers Protection Alliance, or the TPA, a bipartisan nonprofit group. The group's executive director calls the bill a noble effort, but worries it could grant open access to a lot of the systems and platforms that have been built by American companies, potentially not just to low level hackers and cyber criminals, but state actors and companies, uh, nationalized companies stood up by countries like China. I asked UT law professor Abraham Wickelgren, who teaches antitrust law, about the TPA's claims. It's not completely out of left field. He says while security risks are possible, forcing tech giants to play ball with competitors could lead to consumers being overwhelmed, like when you buy a new phone. Presumably you don't want to have your iPhone loaded with, you know, five different math apps, right? I think that would be the bigger concern, but obviously, you know, it's not as dramatic. So that's probably why it's not, it's not featured as heavily in these advertisements. Daniel Marine, KXAN News. So where do Texas two senators stand on S-2992? Senator Ted Cruz was one of five Republicans who voted with Democrats to advance the bill out of committee. Senator John Cornyn has expressed concern over potential national consequences. For more in-depth coverage, head over to our Texas politics section at KXAN.com. You can find the link under the news tab at our homepage. Well, we